Oh, the music did kick back in. There we go. So I did hit the button. The hardest button to button. Copyright the white stripes. I was just sort of flicking around the other day, <clears throat> and I saw American Pickers came on. I, I'm a sucker for that stuff. Like, I love war history and, like, ancient items and stuff. We have a... We have a sewing machine. My parents have a sewing machine that's, like, hundreds of years old. They have, like, almost all the parts for it except the original key. If they had the original key, it would make it very, very, very valuable, but they don't have the key, so it's just... It depreciates it. I took two flashlights with me. See, I meant to drop those off somewhere, and I carried them the whole time. People are at home like, man, you, you could probably carry more food. And you're right, I probably could have carried more food. So I'm going to leave the flashlights here. And I put the stuff that needs to be refrigerated away already. I put that away. Oh, i got to put the bread away. So we still have stuff left in our container that we haven't taken. We have a lot, like a lot, of perishables. And then we have a lot of non-perishables also. So we're pretty well set here. We have red and white wine for each hand. Um, so we're going to go to bed, we're going to go to bed early, and we're going to make our first trek to the farm. Let's see if we can find a shirt first. I know I'm a manly man and all, but who knows, maybe it actually gives you some kind of like fucking armor bonus. No, it doesn't, huh? No. I was, gonna, I was thinking, no, there isn't a, there isn't a fucking shirt, but there was one. Now, shoes and pantaloons. I know I could have just slept in that room, but... Whoa, I can sleep through the wall? I didn't know you could do that. But I still don't want to. So, since we have so far to go, it's got to be running or sprinting. Anyway, but... Do we want to go faster or go longer? Longer. Just because it's... I don't know. In my mind, it makes more sense. It's 4 a.m. It is quite early. I thought that was a light switch, but I guess it's a painting or something. God damn it. Oh, it is a light switch, but the light switches don't work. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's super early, I know, but we're going to take all of our perishables. Holy fuck, that's a lot of perishables. We're still not over encumbered, that's good. trying to think here but it's, it's I'm trying to think here but it keeps giving me all this fucking weird ominous noise um, we're gonna fucking put on a flashlight just so you guys can see I mean it's good yeah you can see better but then zombies can see you like a motherfucker so we're gonna take care of that and just put it away put, put it away um, all right maybe we should just make our first trek unencumbered that would make a lot of sense We're still not encumbered. We got a lot of stuff though. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna cut it there. Oh, we can't even sprint proper. Okay, we know we gotta leave a little bit of this. Just a little bit. So let's say the shotgun. That's 25 pounds. Yeah, we're moving a bit more free here. We're actually sprinting. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Whoo, doggy. We got a long trek ahead of us. First, we have to reach the end of this cell. Oh, well, yeah, we're running for a bit longer. The sun's going to come up now soon. Just as we are loading our new cell. And in between songs, too, so we're not going to get any glitchy business. I don't need to, like, go out of my way to mute it. So, loading. 
So our plan when we get out to the farm is first of all going to be drop off some of our stuff, but I'm wondering if I should make a second run. But no, we probably won't. Not until we actually need all that canned food and stuff, because we have so much. Oh my god. I'm not running proper anymore. Oh, because I'm not well fed. Now I'm well fed and I run. So we're running along. The sun's going to come up now in ten minutes or so. Well, I guess the sun's already up proper, but I find around 8 o'clock you get the best visibility you're going to get. We're looking for a dirt road. Fairly significant dirt road, but... Whew. I'll just walk for a while and let his stamina come back. I could try to cut through the forest and, like, make it there quicker. Uh-oh. My dude's becoming parched. Did I... I didn't bring any water with me, did I? Oh, I got melon. And I got a knife, too. Don't I? Uh-oh. I got an axe. Yeah, you can use an axe to cut up melon. If you use a hammer, you get chunks, but I think if you use your axe, you still get slices, like ten nice slices. So this is the dirt road. This goes on for a while. We've got a way to go. We're going want to make it so we actually have to go off this cell entirely Let's see here see 10 nice slices we'll just drop that in there take our fire axe put it back up here and let's see how long we can sprint now. Woohoo! Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's taken as long as it did last time. Oh. Yeah, it's really deep in this cell. That's what it is. Oh, I forgot about the music! I forgot. I'm sorry. What can I say? Everybody makes mistakes. There we go. Here we go. We know we should rest and meditate on what we've learned, but we can't craft a bed yet. So we're just going to make it to the farm first. So my dude is still parched, even though I made those watermelon slices, so I'll eat one. Boom. Took care of some hunger and some thirst. I'm thirsty, though. Hold on. Cold, refreshing beverage. So, yeah, there is a ton of wheat out here. Perhaps several tons. That's two fields that we haven't even completely examined. See, that one's rather large. There's another one. Or maybe that's just connected. Here you can see some of it's been baled already. For us. Now, we can't do anything with it yet, but when it reaches a point when you can, you can see there are many bales of hay. Oh, I keep running because I know I'm almost there and I want to make it, but I'm so... my dude's exhausted. See, even the time it took to make get to like get here made me drowsy. That looks like, I don't know, maybe corn? Corn doesn't grow where I live, so I don't know. I know this is like wheat and hay and shit, but... This is it. Welcome to our new fort. Lots of work to be done, I'm not going to lie. Look at all those windows. Just look at them all. Now, food in the fridge before it goes bad. Let's take this bread. Let's take it all out, see if any of it will stack. So start at the top, start at the top. Um, five chickens. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, I put too much. Oh, fuck. 
put some wrong stuff in there. That's highly unfortunate. I gotta take it all out again. Oh shit! <laughs> oh whatever. Just slow down. Slow down. We're getting. Yeah. Now let's just uh, see what this place has to offer. A pencil. Okay. Oh, a pen. Nice, nice. Oh, this one's hard to get at. There we go. Oh, a pencil and some matches. Shotgun shells. That's what we like. More matches. Okay. Pen, matches, shotgun shells, lighter fluid, which is another new item, I think. That's for refilling uh, a box of shotgun shells. Yeah, and a shotgun. Box of shotgun shells is another new item added by the mod. Oh yeah, and the fluid is added by the mod also. Another axe? Well. So right here underneath the microwave we're gonna put our weapons. So we're gonna put one axe in there. We're gonna keep the other one on us. We're gonna put our shotgun in first. Then we're gonna put in the box of shells. Then we're gonna put in our actual stack of shells. Then the katana. And we didn't bring the knife. But here goes. This is where I like to put my crafting. So my hammer, my nails. Come on now. So yeah, this place is really big. So let's do a little exploration, make sure there's no zombies. There's another container in here. Pick up all that junk. As well as this. Medicine cabinet has its own plasma in it. As well as lots of pills, we're gonna drop the tissues in there. Um, it's kind of a dining area with the stairs upstairs. This is like a sitting room. I'm gonna close all these blinds. I, I don't know if it's, um like I've spent num a number of nights here, but I don't know if many zombies spawn here. Like as dev zombies do spawn, but not as many it seems. Okay, another like syringe and stuff. Any sheets for me? Five. What about over here? Another one. Six. Normally I'd start by like sheeting up the Oh another four. I've got tons. Okay, so we're gonna take our pants. You know how I feel about black pants. Not in real life though. I like blue jeans. But uh just makes me think that it decreases our profile. So we're going to drop our junk in here with this shitty clothes. Yeah, that's pretty much all our junk. Now, over here... Yes, I know. Ominous. Ominous. I don't know why it does it twice in a row sometimes. Let's just make sure nothing's in here. Nothing. That's great. No zombies in this place. Another three sheets. Three sheets to the wind. Four. Five. And a black vest. Uh, it's not as good as a sweater, though. That's, that's going to be another junk drawer up there. So, we've got lots of sheets. Let's put them to use. Because you really you want to have as low a profile as po oops, as low as profile as possible. There's all kinds of updates and like notes and stuff on the server, or on the server, on the forums about like shift clicking. I've never shift clicked. I don't know. People always complain about the windows, but like, there's only one window I've ever had trouble with, and it's the one right here. That's the only window I've ever had trouble with. Oops. There we go. It's a window right here, but I have trouble with it, so I'm not even going to bother right now. But it's late and dark, and I know you guys are thinking, like, we can't see. Ominous. It's 
funny, now that I think about it, isn't that the name of, uh... It is, that's the name of the guy who made the mod. <laughs> I say ominous frequently, regardless, but... What do you guys think? Sprinting? Running? Let's try and balance it out, right? That's what you're thinking. I don't know for sure, I'm just guessing. But that's what we did. So there's a lot of work to be done on this farmhouse as uh, obviously probably can be seen. But since we have so many sheets, I'm gonna sheet up these windows first, because I got lots left for downstairs yet. doing pretty good. We still got three sheets left here. All these windows are done. All these windows are done. Now there's one window right there, and I know you're thinking, like, why didn't you put a sheet on it? Well, the truth is, I've had a lot of trouble with this window, so we're going to try it again. Yay! I don't know. See? That's the only window I ever had trouble with. And that was the other day. But now everything's perfect. And I didn't even need to use shift. So I don't know what people are talking about. Oops, I should be leaving those open. Now, in terms of inventory, what do I have left to put away now? And then we will go collect wood and start the first barricades. That magazine, I'll just fucking read for now. Fuck it. Boom. Take that, boredom. Put the battery in the microwave. No, I'm kidding. Put the battery over here. And the lighter too. And uh I don't mind going around with two sheets on me. Oh, I'm still kinda I'm really hungry. Let's cook some salmon. Cause that'll clear up a stack. So my plan is to go out and harvest the trees that are closer to me. That might seem silly because you're thinking, you're going to draw zombies. Well, that's good because there aren't many zombies in this area. At least I'll draw them all in now and kill them. Uh, but also, it'll clear my line of sight because there's a balcony upstairs, and I plan on sort of building onto that so you can get a nice view out and around the house. I also plan on making a tunnel. Oh, no! Don't burn my salmon. Don't burn my salmon. Okay. It's done. I plan on making a tunnel, like, with walls all the way out to here, with a door on either side. And then I'm going to have it connected to this, so that, like, they can't actually get at that door. Oh, no! My telly. My telly? My celly. My cellular device. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. My, uh, my cell phone was going there. It's nothing serious. But we're back. Um, I need something to hold some water just so I can get a drink of water. Did I not, like, bring a single bowl with me? That'd be kind of funny. Yep, I did not bring a single bowl with me. Well, that's okay. I'll find a bottle, I'm sure. I was eating orange for now. Oops, that's pie, not orange. Eating orange? There we go. So... Let us start harvesting some wood, because we're going to need a lot of it. So yeah, as I was saying, there's going to be a tunnel right here, and I think I'm going to have a side tunnel that kind of connects. It goes over here, and it'll connect to the front door. And then I can make as many exits and entrances as I want. Excuse me, goodness. Oh, that one came down easy. Did I only get one piece of wood out of it, though? No, I got two. Oh no, I don't have a saw. I bet you that's what some of you are thinking. You're like, oh, you ain't got a saw, dude. You're screwed. You gotta go all the way back? No, I don't. This place holds many treasures. That's enough for one load, I think. that over. Oops. 
button. Okay. So we'll just uh, cut out the front here. And over here we have a burn. Indeed, a burn. Lots of bales of hay and some stairs. And would you look at that? Some crates for us. Hopefully one of these will contain... Asa! Deadly. And some wood to get started with. That's not bad either. Yeah, lots of wood to get started with. That's nice. I'll take those fucking MREs with me too. I don't know how you cook those. You just put them in the oven, I guess? Ooh, a sledgehammer. I've still never correctly used a sledgehammer. I don't know if they don't work correctly yet to take out walls, but I've never been able to take out a wall. I've tried. Am I right on the edge of a cell? Here? No, I'm not. It just looked that way by the way the fog of a fog of war was. All kinds of all kinds of sheets up. We give a sheet. Yeah, I can't believe that. I got that in there no problem. I had a lot of trouble with it when I was trying here before just seeing what I kind of work I could do. So, we're going to start with the wood we found. Drop back that saw. No, fuck it. We'll 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 take all that wood. Why not do it in one big go? Oh yeah, now we're encumbered. Nineteen pieces of wood now. So we'll throw that sledgehammer over and the saw. We only got five nails. Hmm. Those shotgun shells can go too. And I'll just throw that MRE in here for now. Those MREs, rather. Um. Yeah, let's just get started then. Control Shift 2, that'll be my bind for you. Gets that work done right quick. I love carpenters. I mean, in the term of games. It's a wicked bonus to have. Because it's what you want in a zombie apocalypse, is the ability to defend, build defendable structures. Whoa, that was weird. Why didn't that work? Did I use all my nails that quick? I sure did. I only had a few on me. That is a big stack of nails. So, pick you up, and two... Oops, I'm going to barricade that door if I click on it right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed and I'll finish this barricading in the morning. Because it is getting dark and it's going to be difficult for you guys to see. I'll try to bear that in mind. At all times. 6 a.m. It's still going to be a little bit dark, but... Not too bad. Not for long. And if I could kick up the gamma to help you guys, I would. I could kick up the gamut to help myself, I would. But it's kind of like cheating. Because, I mean, this game really is supposed to be about survival. I could open the windows here, I think, to get at this window. Open the sheet. I had to open the sheet. Huh. This is becoming an issue. We'll skip you for now. There we go, we got it. So we got nine left. Let's concentrate on our more interior areas for now. So 
So, we're going to try and get, I guess, each of these up to three, I'd say. Get each of these up to two. 